can see we're here at a very exciting time because the lorry has just come along and tipped its load of wheat inside this amazing contraption. Charles, what is this? Well, this is where the lorries tip off into a big pit. And then the pit, with the means of a mechanical conveyor and elevators, a bit like an escalator, will take the grain up to the top of the silo and we will tip another two loads on top of that one load and then we'll later on today be able to turn the three loads into breakfast cereal wheat. Fantastic and as I can see it's just slipping down a, a big hole. A little bit like quicksand. It's, you, you, you wouldn't want to stand on top of there. No. That's why we have the grill. Okay. Fantastic. And so that was one lorry. How many lorries would you have here per, per day? Well, normally this time of year, we'll be taking sort of 15 loads a day in. Um, but at harvest time in August, in July and August, we get really busy. We'll go up to 120, 130 vehicles a day. That is a lot of lorries. And I can see there's one waiting. So should we let the lorry come and put its load in here? I think we need to get out of the okay, way. OK, let's get out of the way. <laughs> Fantastic. OK, so this lorry is a, like, massive, isn't it, Charles? How, many, how much wheat would you have in there? Uh, that'll hold 29 tonnes of wheat. And to, to, that would be grown on an area um, the size of the three football pitches. So three football pitches of wheat growing would condense into this lorry that's absolutely amazing so how much breakfast cereal could you make out of the wheat that's inside this I, lorry you can make forty thousand boxes of breakfast cereal out of one lorry load of grain that's a lot of breakfast cereal it's a lot of <laughs> breakfast cereal fantastic okay so i can see the lorry tipped itself up and does the wheat automatically come all out of the bottom sort of shooting into the it flows by gravity until it's completely emptied out yes fantastic okay and so how many lorries could you take per day and how much storage do you have for this wheat? Well, we have lots of different sorts of wheats, but we, we, we can go up to 30, 40 loads a day if we're really busy. But um, this time of year, all the wheat has been gathered in, it's in the store. It's a harvest time, which is the biggest thing, when you have to get grain off the fields and into store that we have many more vehicles. Fantastic. And so... By the looks of it, this is just wheat that has been harvested. It hasn't been cleaned. It hasn't gone through any process. No, this is wheat that's been grown on the farm and it's been stored on the farm. It would have been either dried on the farm or it could have been cut dry, of course. And now it's, we've been out, we've tested it while it's on the farm. We've established it's good quality wheat and it's come in over our Weybridge. And then we test it in our laboratory to make sure it's just the right quality that we need for our breakfast here customers. <laughs>